Does your tablet look plain like this or this? I'm a virgin! Well, today I'm going to show you how to make a smooth tablet like this that can be compared to... Hey, girl. You want to go see a movie on Friday night with me? Sorry about that intro, but you are going to need a couple things before we can begin, most of which you probably already have on your server. So first of all, you're going to need to be running a paper MC server. You can also run Pufferfish or Purper MC, but no vanilla. You're also going to need that tab plugin. That's literally what it's called in its GitHub. But this plugin is amazing. It has so many features, but we're only going to be talking about the tab list for today. You may also want the placeholder API plugin for different placeholders, such as how many players are online or what the player's ping is. However, some of these placeholders are already built into tab, meaning you won't need placeholder API, but it's still a good plugin to have because it has hundreds of different placeholders and it's just a good plugin to have on your server. And for the server logo, you're going to need the items adder plugin. So this step is optional because the items adder plugin costs about $20 and you don't really need it, but it does look pretty cool. You could just use a regular resource pack. This is a little bit more challenging, or you could just write the server name out in text. It looks fine either way. If you do decide to use items adder, you're also going to need the protocol lib plugin and loan libs. All the links will be in the description. So you can just go down there, download the plugins, place them in your plugins folder, or restart your server and you should be good to go. So make sure to subscribe or this won't work and let's get your tablet set up and ready to play. You don't really play tablets, do you? Eh, whatever. Okay, so when we install the tab plugin, it will come with this really gross pre-made configuration. So we're going to be changing all this, but if you like this, then you can go with it. I'm not going to be showing you how to install these plugins. I think it's pretty basic and I've shown you how to do it in multiple other videos. But if you do need help, I can help you out in the comments or my Discord server. So let's go ahead and jump into the configuration. So you'll want to go to your file manager into the plugins folder, and we can head into the tab and then config.yml. So right off the bat, here is the tab list. So if we didn't even want a tab list, you could set it to false. But we're going to go ahead and get rid of this because we don't want to disable it. You might even want to get rid of this in case you have a world named World 1, World 2, World 3. And if you don't want this, you can get rid of that as well. But I think this is fine. So what we're going to do to start off, I just want to get rid of everything. So just get rid of that. Copy this. Get rid of this. And paste one of those again. There we go. So now the first thing that we'll want to do is we're going to add some like lines on the top of it. So the pre-made configuration already had this, but I like to do it my way. So we want to put the, the little and symbol, the number eight, and then we want to put another and symbol and then the letter M. And then you just want to hold down your space bar for a bit as long as you'd like, and then put an and R. And then let's say we also want this on the bottom as well. So we just want to paste it down there, click control S or click save content. Then we can head back in game and type slash tab reload. We're going to be doing that a lot. So there we go. We have our two little lines. So now the next step is we need that server logo. So I made a pre-made items adder configuration. So you'll just want to go to the link in the description, download that. This step is optional. So I'm not going to go too in depth about this because I already have a really in depth video about items adder. So you can go and watch that. Basically, you'll just extract this here. You'll want to go into the resource pack, the assets into here, into here. And then this server logo.png, you'll want to change this out with your server logo. So you'll want to make sure that is it is a 256 by 256 PNG file. And then you'll just want to replace that IA reload, IA zip, and then whatever hosting method you're using. And now to put that server logo on our tab list, we'll want to go back into the tab folder, go into the config, and this is where you'll need placeholder API for. So we can space down a line or enter down a line, and then one of these, my keyboard is broken, and then some air quotes, and we can put we want to put and R. If we don't put and R, then this will cause weird issues. And then a percentage sign, IMG underscore server logo, and then another percent symbol. And then we don't need an and R at the end. So now if we go ahead and click control S and save that, 
Oh, that's not good. Hey, go away. Go away. No, I'm recording a video. Fine, I'm going to cre creative mode. Haha, ha, now you can't get me. So now if we type slash tab reload, we can see that the logo's there. But as you can see, it is really messed up. So what we need to do is go back to our tab configuration and we'll need to add some extra lines here. So just basically these air quotes and then put an and R or you don't have to put anything at all. And then we'll put, we'll do two on the top and then two on the bottom. Let's see how that looks. So we want to do slash tab reload. So we still need like maybe one more line on the bottom. So we'll just control C, control V. And then if we want to make another line. So now let's see how that looks. So just tab reload again. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good so far. So if you don't want to use items editor, you can just put your server logo plainly in like regular text. It looks perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So let's say you want to make a nice gradient. So we can head over to this RGB bird flop website and we can just put like your server name here. So server name, that's plain. And then we can change the colors. So let's say we only wanted two colors. There we go. You can edit these however you want. And then you'll just want to go ahead, go up here and click control C, copy all that, head back and then just paste it in. Make sure you're on the and hashtag one though. So then we can head back into the game, so like type slash tab reload. And there we go. We have our nice server name as a nice gradient. We'll get back to animated gradients in a bit. I just wanted to show you how to make simple gradients. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all that and bring back my server logo because I want to make it look really nice. So now we're going to show the player like their ping and how many players are online. So there are a couple ways to go about this. So tab itself has some placeholders built in. You don't need placeholder API, but if you wanted to like show the amount of players on like a bungee cord network, then you would need placeholder API for that. So for now, we're just going to go down another line. And now to make this look really sleek and modern, I like to use this Minecraft small font website. So you just want to type your normal text in here. So we'll just say your ping and then copy that and then head back. And now we can use the bucket color code and seven paste in our text. And then I always like to put an and eight before the colon like that. And then if we wanted to use another RGB hex code, we would put and hashtag. And then like, if we wanted to make it green, we would do zero, zero, F, F, zero, zero. And then percentage sign, ping, percentage sign. And then click control S, go back to Minecraft, tab reload. And there we go, we have 86 ping. That looks really nice. Like, And then let's say we wanted to make how many players are online. So we could head back and instead of this, we would type online players and then go ahead, copy that. Head back here, you know the drill, make a new line, air quotes and seven, paste that in and eight colon. And then we'll say and hashtag, keep it nice and consistent so zero zero ff zero zero and then we can use percentage on line this is built in to tab but if you were using placeholder api i think it would be server underscore online you'd have to download the server placeholder expansion though that's a mouthful so we can go ahead and click Control s to save this one once again go back in the game slash tap tab reload and there we go. That's looking pretty nice. So now what we're going to do is we'll just add one more line, give it a little bit of separation. We can put an and R or you don't have to. And then once again, head back, tab reload. There we go. Now our top is done. So what if we wanted to have both your ping and online players in just one line? So that's where the animations come in. Now, this isn't like animating like a cartoon or anything. It basically just, you have multiple lines and it switches between these lines every certain amount of ticks. So what we'll do, we'll just copy both of these and control X and then we'll want to save the file. Always get in the habit of saving because that's important. 
So if we go through here, we can see that there are different animations. We'll get back to RGB gradient animations in a bit. It's going to look really cool. I'm just going to paste these in right here and we're just going to copy the time thing. And then we'll change this to top info and then the change interval. So this is in ticks. So remember Minecraft has 20 ticks per second. So you would basically, however many seconds you want that to last, you'd multiply that by 20. So I'm just going to use 500. So that would be, I don't even know, I can't do math. So then you would just put your text right here, just like in the regular tab config. So we'll save that, go back to tab, go back to the config. And then on this line, we'll put percentage and animation and then a colon and then the name of our animation. So top info. I can't spell today. And then another percentage sign. Control S, head back, tab reload. And there, now it's switching. It's really fast though. So what we would do if we wanted to, we can head back into the animations and maybe make it more like 1500. And then we can just save that. So now it lasts just a little bit longer. So you can add like as many lines as you want there. Okay. so. Now I think our top is done. So the next step is the bottom. So we're going to display like our Discord server and our store. So what we'll want to do is go back to the regular config.yml. And then for the footer, we'll leave one line just because we want to keep nice separation. Now it's not all like crammed in, you know? So right here, we're going to put another and seven, go back to the small font generator and we'll just say web store. And then we'll paste this right here and eight colon. Don't feel like you have to do everything like me. If you don't like it like this, then don't do it. Find your own way to make it look nice. This is just what I like. Okay. So this is another resource by bird flop. That is fun to say. So basically it allows us to make these really smooth animated gradients. So what we want to do is select our amount of colors or you can go with one of the color presets. So let's see, that's, that's kind of nice. I don't know. Well, we're going to make our own. So the color amount, this is basically how many colors are in your gradient that will like switch through them. So I'll just leave it at two. And we can switch to, we can change these hex colors to whatever we'd like. I'll do blue. Since it's moving really slow, we can change the gradient length down and that'll make it go a little bit faster. So you don't want to go too crazy with this. You just kind of want like a nice animated gradient, you know, just like nice and smooth, not too fast. So this is good. And we can also up the speed on it as well. It's kind of hard to display that in the web browser though. so. We'll just keep it at 50 and then the animation name. So this is going to be like your animation logo in the placeholder. So this is whatever text you want right here. My web store, you should definitely go check out. And then if we wanted to make it so it's bold, italic, underline, let's make it underlined and bold. There we go. That looks pretty nice. And if you even wanted to like go crazy, you could type it into here like this. This is just getting crazy. And then you throw it in there. It, it's not going to display right in the web, but it'll look right in Minecraft, hopefully, and turn that off. And then we'll just want to go right here and copy all this. It's super long. So just copy that and then head back to tab, go to animations, scroll all the way to the bottom, make some new lines, paste that in. This like doesn't look like anything at all. It's it just I, I don't know that that's a lot, but we'll just want to go ahead and click save. So remember logo. So we go back to our config and then we'll want to put percentage animation logo just like that. And then before it we will want to tell it that it's actually our web store. So we can head right here web store, copy that and then and seven, keep it consistent throughout just like that. And now let's save that and see how it looks. 
There we go. Look at that. That is really nice looking. You have to admit, that looks really nice. And now, let's do another one for our Discord server. So we want to paste that into here. And then we'll need to change the animation name because we already have one named logo. So we can just call this Discord. And then we'll keep it the same. That way it looks consistent, you know. Consistency is key. So just go ahead and copy all of that. Head back to the animation. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Yes, it's a lot. Paste it in. This time it looks a little bit better. So remember Discord. So we'll go back to tab, config. And we can just copy this. Then we're not typing it out again. Discord. And then we'll want to change that to Discord as well. Copy it and get rid of this. That should be good. We're going to add one more line just because they're to add separation, you know? So we can head back in game type slash tab reload. And there we go. That looks really nice, but this looks really good. One more thing that I'm nit nitpicky about, we can head into the config and we're just going to make this side just a little bit longer, making the tablets take up quite a bit of space, makes it look pretty good. We only have to do that for one though, and type slash tab reload. And there we go, it takes up quite a bit of space. Now that looks incredible. It's very sleek, minimal, modern. I don't really like how it switches like that, but you know what, it was an example, it doesn't matter. One more thing though, when you put a slash into here, it's going to render wrong. So we'd have to go right here and just change this out to a regular slash. And then we'd have to copy all that again go back into here, animations, scroll all the way to the bottom, get rid of the old one because it's old and bad. And then we'd have to paste the new one in, tab reload one more final time, and it looks pretty normal. It still looks pretty bad. You probably just want to use that with regular text. Now, I have some homework for you. I want you to get creative and make your own nice tablets, and then I want you to send me a picture of it in my Discord server. This totally isn't just a ploy to get people to join my Discord. You can also get some inspiration for your tablets by joining both of my Minecraft servers. They are really fun. And you can also catch me live on there every Sunday night. So until next time, I will see you on the other side, and happy crafting.